So here we can see I've managed to mount the dome onto the onto the main body and I've got that rotating quite well. It took quite a um, bit of uh, shaving out because on the on this uh, lower piece of the dome section it was uh, it was jamming on the lazy Susan because the inner side size of that is exactly the same as the outer uh, size of the dome uh, out outer size of the lazy Susan so they were just uh, snatching on uh, against each other so I've, I've dremeled out a sort of a, about a millimeter uh, from the inside lip of this piece to get it to uh, so it doesn't actually catch um, this is, it's only, um, it's not all glued together at the moment, so you can see it's slightly moving. But this piece is uh, probably slightly high at the moment, so, because uh, I was just uh, working out that the um, heights I can do. So I think I can drop that down uh, at least a few mil, so there'll be less of a gap there. I've also noticed um, a couple of designs, people have actually printed an inner piece to go in there, uh, so you don't see through, which is uh, perhaps an idea which I might do. Um, but certainly got that rotating anyway, so that's taken quite a bit of uh, um, uh, scraping of the inner in, inner side to actually work. So I'll just move forward, and you can actually see the inside. Okay, this is a view looking into the uh, R2D2 from above. I've managed to get the dome on and rotating, just putting together the uh, inner uh, arm that will hold the. Uh, uh, the cabling into the centre of the uh, uh, under the dome. So as you can see, well, that's rotating around, and you can see the arm in the middle there. So the slip ring will sit in the middle, just in here. Yeah, you can see on camera. So the next thing I've just taken this back out again. Oh, it fell out a few seconds ago. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is modify this or reprint this to take a uh, a large servo. Or I might be able to fit it on the side somehow uh, and mount that on the top we'll put this in the middle somehow basically sit like that if you can see that on the camera so that looks like I can should be able to achieve that somehow by modifying um, this this bracket here I might just need to cut out the the middle bit and uh, we'll make an insert make an insert for that to sit inside here but we'll have a look at that um, I'm gonna do that in a minute but this certainly rotates easy, uh, uh, smoothly enough to, uh, I think, uh, give me faith that this servo will be able to, because it's a very powerful servo, servo will, will be able to rotate it without any additional gearing on it. Okay, so this is the uh, dome, R2-D2 dome, which I've now got to uh, rotate rather well, I'm very pleased with that. I'll, I'll take it apart and I'll show you actually uh, some of the issues I have putting it together. So this will actually just lift off. And that's the top dome itself. Oh, this is a close up of the, uh, the ring without the dome on. Uh, I haven't actually fixed the uh, the upper ring of the base on, so that's slightly moving. I, that will have to screw on, but you'll see what I mean in two seconds. So that's the inner bit that rotates. This will now lift off. That bit it's sitting on, which I'll just take off, is the actual... That's the, that's the top um, ring of the body. That needs screwing down, uh, and I just haven't done that because I'm still working on this front piece at the moment. Right, now back on my workbench. Uh, this is the dome, as uh, the upper dome. What I've been having to do is actually, uh, this inner lip here was, was too tight because that measured 240... Fifty-eight, fifty-seven, uh, which is roughly the same. Well, it was exactly the same as the outer um, size of the of the uh, of the lazy Susan, because uh, it is actually eighteen inches, which is two hundred and over two hundred and fifty mils. So they were actually jamming together. So what I've actually had to do. To be able to scrape out this inner lip by, I've probably taken about a millimetre off, but so unfortunately uh, I had um, a stand from a Dremel, so I could actually mount it, as you can see, and just literally go round, and I've got a, um, 
uh, uh, you know, rough piece on the end there and just, uh, just took off. Um, just, uh, you know, gradually just scrapes away uh, the inner side of that and then used a, a standing knife to actually just scrape it as well and then sandpaper so, um, so I can actually then go around with a standing knife and just take that inner, uh, the, the, the um, any extra plastic off. It took quite a while to actually do it, going on various different heights to do it, but it's quite, it was quite a good way to do it, but fortunately I had a stand. I tried to do that by hand orig um, originally and it just wasn't working at all. So that's um, that sort of worked out now. Okay, this is a bit of a further update. I've actually spent a bit more time scraping out the uh, the inner piece just to get it a little bit looser. And I've also put some more uh, fixings in the whole thing, which I'll show you. Just on that side, I've actually added in these, these uh, smaller ones just to give it a bit more structure. Um, that now, as I've marked it, so it's always consistent. That will also get always go in that in that hole there. Um, and that now goes reasonably well. I've got to get um, some countersunk bolts to go in there, but I've I've just got these. I've ordered some countersunk uh, 25 and 30 mil ones just to uh, so I'm covered. So I'm just stepping that off. As you can see, I've, I've turned this around the other way because originally I had the bolt going the other way. Um, these aren't; these are just loosely uh, screwed in. But when I've got some canvas sunks, that'll be very slightly taller that one. But I want to keep it under there, otherwise it was just slightly catching. So there on. Um, so that's pretty much complete, I think. Yeah, looking at the other way up. See if you can see inside. Yeah, that's what So that bottom bit is the bit that moves. We can't really see it on that way, but it's that section. So it's that bottom ring. So that I'll just uh, rotate on the bottom ring. That does screw onto the onto the base. I've screwed it on, but I've just got it off at the moment. Well, it's uh, I'm not going to screw it on until I've painted the whole thing. I've also printed out the the dome rings, which I'll show you. As you can see, I'm just sort of checking out the uh, the pie pieces to go onto the uh, top of the dome. I'm just uh, it's not, nothing's glued together. Just um, to see what fits. This piece I'm going to uh, redo, but I just thought I'd also try out the um, the Sovo motor to see if they open all right and that's that one I and mean, it's only just stuck together with sticky tape at the moment but it seems to uh, basically do what it's do what it's meant to do i'll just show you just swing that around a bit Uh, it's not very smooth at the moment, but uh, at least you can see it. So I think you can just see that uh, working, that's opening and closing. I'll just uh, take that away so you can see. It's, it's not very smooth at the moment, I'm just running it off my uh, test server controller. So that's as far as I've got with the, uh, with the dome assembly and uh, just briefly sticking that together with some double-sided sticky tape just to hold it in place. So that's it for now.